now to our new feature, which we have called... Ask an Expert. Oh, I just love that jingle so much. We will bring in experts across a wide variety of subjects that you at home get to ask questions to. And today we have owner of Hair and Beauty Salon, Shanique's Hair Design, Angie, with us. Welcome, Angie. Thank you, Mel. Hair, a lot of people have a lot of questions about this. We've been inundated. Oh, wonderful. So let's get rolling. Okay, first up, uh, plenty of questions. What should people do to ensure they get the look and the style that they want, that they have in their head? The best thing is bring pictures with you um, and discuss what you want with your hairdresser. This is what we do at our salon. You know, we sit down, we actually talk to you. We have to see what your lifestyle is like, whether you are going to manage that look once you've left the salon, because that's the most important thing. Mm. Um, and then also whether you're going to be able to provide all the products that you need for it. Um, so all of that ta gets taken yeah. into account. That's really important, yes. the lifestyle thing, because I might want Angelina Jolie got gorgeous long hair, exactly. but I don't, I don't have the time or the inclination to keep up that maintenance. Definitely. So those are things that are very, very important, and we have to take all of that into account before we can tell you whether that style would suit you, because you also have to take their face shape as well. Mm. And the hair, yes, and the hair type, and the hair type, the structure, I mean, the texture of the hair. All of that ta gets taken into account, and then you, you know, we kind of tell them whether that would be suitable, or should they try something else. What about colour changing? You, we have a lot of questions about mm -hmm. this. Somebody wanting to go from brunette right through to platinum blonde. Yes, we get a lot of that. That also bring in pictures with you. Um, we also have to take into account what your colour history is like, what chemical services you have had done, because they all work to be able to get you what you want. Also, is that colour going to suit you? Would you be able to maintain it once you've left the salon? Would you be able to come back regularly to get that regrowth sorted? So all of that gets taken into account, mm. and then we will advise you whether you should go ahead with it or not. Regrowth, obviously, an issue. That is a big issue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for a hair colour. I don't know who you're talking about there. Uh, because that is the thing. And there's lots of different colours of blondes as well. There is. So, you know, you get these the ashy blondes, then there's more of those um, caramel blondes. So you have to be sure that the colour you choose does suit you. What about the way to cover those, I like to call them extreme platinums, some call them grey. Um, yes, <laughs> oh, those are the worst things and they seem to appear when you don't want them. Yes. There are a few ways you can do it but the one that we found works the best is trying to get some highlights and low lights done because when the regrowths do come in they are not that visible. Okay. But also sticking with the colours that kind of is going to be suitable, which looks natural, it flows beautifully, and you know, no one would know that you've been to the salon. And you know what works for you, don't you, when you've been and you look gorgeous and nobody notices. They just go, yes. oh, you look fresh. Definitely. And that's gorgeous. the best thing that we actually. That, that's the most amazing thing. That's what I like when my clients come in and, you know, they say, I've had a wonderful compliment. They didn't even know I'd been to you. Exactly. So. That's yeah, the best it's funny. Thing ever. So, what should we expect from our from our hairdresser and from our salon? Um, what I would expect if I was going to one for a salon, hygiene is very important. Mm -hmm. You make sure that it is neat and clean, tidy. All the equipments are being sterilised according to the regulations. With a hairdresser, you need to be able to talk to them. They should be able to understand where you're coming from, what is best for you, and they can advise you. Those are very important, plus their qualifications. Right, that's a good one. And you don't want to put their their lifestyle onto your head. Exactly. Back to the lifestyle thing. Okay. Finally, what happens if you do have a bit of an issue with mm. your stylist and you want to divorce them? How do you go about doing that subtly? I love the word divorce. At least with <laughs> this one, you don't need a lawyer. Well, hopefully not. Um, it's an important it relationship. Is, it though. is a very important relationship. The best thing to do is first talk to them. Let them know what the problem is and see if they can actually solve it. If that doesn't happen, you are the person that's actually paying for the service and you need to be happy. Right, you do. So. Absolutely. That is some fantastic sound advice there. I loved it. Thank you so much, Angie. You're and if you want to find out more, make sure that you head along to see Angie and her team at Shanique's Hair Design or pop along to their website.